So today we're going to learn about measuring angles with a protractor. Here's a protractor. Okay. So the protractor gets confusing for some students because there's numbers on the outside and on the inside. But I'm going to go over some tricks today that will help you with that. First thing that you should do is look at the angle. And the first angle is right here. And the angle that you measure is right in here. The first thing you need to do is ask yourself, is this an acute angle, a right angle, or an obtuse angle? And looking at this, what kind of angle is it? Alia? It's an acute angle. So I would write down acute. What do you know about acute angles? It's less than 90 degrees. So acute, less than 90 degrees. So then if an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. What is an obtuse angle? More than 90 degrees. And then in a right angle, what is a right angle? A right angle is 90 degrees. 90 degrees, exactly. Okay. This one here is between 90, between 90 and 180. So, because the grade sevens, you know about the other angle that's coming up. But anyways, so now to measure this. Can I measure this angle the way it is right now? The way it's facing me right now, can I measure it? Basma? So what can I do to make this angle measurable? I'm not even sure if that's a word. This is the unit where you need to be moving your paper around. I would move my paper like this, or you can move it like this. Doesn't matter. I'm going to start like this, and I'll show you why. To measure this little angle right here, this protractor has something called a vertex. The vertex is right here, where these two lines meet in the center. You need to line up the vertex of the, this point here with the point over here, with the angle here, or with the corner. And it looks a little like this. So one of the angle lines must be on the zero. This line here, it's a little difficult to see how many degrees this is. So in this situation, here's what I recommend that you do. What you can do is just extend one of the lines. So let's try this again. That was a little hard. So go back to the center here. How many degrees is this angle? It's 15 degrees. And the number 15 is right down here. It starts at 0, 10, 20, 30, and it's right in the middle. So what gets confusing for some kids is that you need to use the inside numbers with the outside little marks here. You'll get used to it. This is 15 degrees. What mistake might someone make measuring this angle? What might they tell me the answer is? Manib, they would say 165. You're right, because they see 165 here. But we know 165 degrees should be an obtuse angle, which is a big angle. So that should eliminate the confusion. So 15 degrees. So here's another one that looks like it looks like, like this. It's upside down. I cannot do this one. I cannot measure it like this. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So here's what I can do. Rotate the page. Make it look good. Make it look like something that's easy. Okay. So there it is. I place the protractor down at the center. And there I see the line running through. Well, first of all, what kind of angle is this? Is this an acute, obtuse, or right angle? This is an obtuse angle. So I should actually write that down first. See, I, I jumped ahead of myself here. I got too excited because I wanted to measure so badly. So we know it's an obtuse angle. And again, 
this one here, I'm going to extend the line once again, just to make it a little bit easier to measure. It's going to be a little off, but we'll figure it out. I'm also going to extend this bottom line here too, and I'll show you why in a little bit. There we go. So I've extended both lines. Look how big those lines are. No confusion whatsoever. Bottom line here. And take a step back. How many degrees is this angle right now? It's an obtuse angle. So far? 100 and. 35, 135 degrees is correct. So now, I measured it like this, with the line, the bottom line, going to the right. This line here is going right. I wonder if I measure it this way, if I will still get the same answer. This line's going to the left now. Let's see if we get the same answer. Yes, we did. So it doesn't matter which side you measure the angle from. It's the same angle. Okay. So there's a little saying that I have that I, it helps me remember what to, which side to use. This bottom line here is going left. When it's going left, you use the outside numbers. You don't want to be left outside in the cold. Left outside. And if it, the line's going to the right, you need to use the inside numbers because you want to be right inside this warm classroom. Okay? I know it sounds ridiculous. You do not want to be left outside in the cold. You want to be right inside the warm classroom. 